Yeah, CyberArk is a, is a leader in cybersecurity uh, technology. They've uh, been around for over 20 years. Um, they are uh, in a broad and, and wide array of uh, uh, security uh, industries and, and products. <clears throat> They're most notably known for their privileged access management solutions. Um, for the longest time, they've been a leader in that area. Uh, but over the last uh, decade, uh, you know, this company has has really extended itself and 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 reached into new new areas and new segments of security, stretching from identity uh, all the way to uh, cloud solutions that involve uh, you know best practices around how you secure and, and ensuring that your cloud uh, is insecure is secured. CyberArk uh, R and D department. Uh, comprises the the largest part of uh, CyberArk uh, as a total, the organization. Uh, CyberArk is about 2,400 employees uh, globally. Uh, we exist in just about every market uh, around the globe. And we uh, we have an R&D department that uh, almost comprises a half of the total number of our employees. And uh, that R&D organization contains, you know, every facet uh, uh, and, and job profile and discipline you can imagine, right? It takes to deliver uh, the, the growing number of uh, on-prem and SaaS products that we, that we have. And then as part of that, our cloud engineering and operations team, uh, which, which I'm part of, that, uh, that group is, is also global. Uh, and it's an organization of a couple hundred people. And that uh, that group consists of folks in so many different disciplines, right? Um, you know, a good a good cloud engineering team covers a, a wide gamut of of, uh, of different uh, expertises in order to deliver cloud products and ensure that they're running reliably and and, and well. And so we've got uh, <clears throat> folks that are you know uh, great at CI/CD um, monitoring. Uh, we've got uh, folks who are masters of the you know infrastructure, um, infrastructure automation. Um, we've got you know uh, teams uh, in again in uh, Israel, India, here in the United States. Um, we're well uh, well distributed. We run a, a very matrixed organization so that uh, every team in every geography, gets to participate fully and uh, and has uh, that wide array of skill sets that I was just talking about. <clears throat> and we've got, um, you know, uh, uh, even with that, we're growing uh, at this point uh, over 100% a year inside of cloud engineering. Um, and we're looking for for a lot more bright, uh, bright folks to come join our team that uh, in all those different areas of um, expertise. Yeah, so we've got a lot of interesting, um, a lot of interesting projects, a lot of interesting problems. Uh, this company has, uh, you know, like I stated earlier, this company has grown immensely, um, and it has uh, a wide array of of um, products in different industries that it's part of, and that's trying to problems that it's trying to solve. And so for us, uh, we have uh, uh, problems or projects that. Uh, are really uh, just go across the entire gamut. And so uh, some examples of that, right, are uh, we've got some places where we have uh, very uh, mature products, products that have been in the industry for a while, products that uh, do really well are, are really great for uh, our customers. Um, and they are going through a bit of modernization, right, as the, you know, the need for scale and, and obviously the needs of our customers continue to change and grow and we have to adapt with it, we need to modernize. And so we have uh, some great projects where we're going from uh, things like monolithic uh, architectures into our uh, microservice architectures. So now we've got some that are uh, SOA or service oriented that are moving to microservices. But uh, there's a big emphasis here at, at CyberArk, right, to, to essentially uh, start engineering our way into that future with some of these products that have been, you know, mainstays for us. Uh, so that's a, that's a big project. But then we have other projects, right, uh, Greenfield stuff, uh, uh, products and, and teams and services that are brand new to the industry, uh, brand new to CyberArk. And, you know, we're really starting with that fresh, you know, clean slate. And these, these teams are building modern uh, solutions 
right, that are serverless or containerized. And we're doing a lot of work around, you know, how do we build these products for today since we get to build them brand new? And how do we build them to scale to the needs of uh, our growing customer base? Sure, so we use a, a wide array of, of technology stacks here. Uh, again, uh, we've got uh, many products, right, that uh, if you were to put it together on a scale, you'd see, you know, products that have been around for a while to these new brand new products that we're trying to enter into the market. Um, the tech stacks, you know, very greatly. We've got um, your traditional end tier uh, .NET stack uh, with, you know, technologies that are, you um, based in EC2, right? Or have just moved over into a container type format um, with a, you know, RDBMS system like Postgres. And we're, you know, we've got a, a very traditional um, uh, stack that can scale. Um, and then we're, 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 you know, we're pivoting in a lot of places and that's where we're breaking down those, those traditional end tier stacks and that are built on a monolithic uh, application set up into uh, technologies where we are going to Lambda. Um, we're all AWS, so uh, all of our all of our tech stacks um, and all of our technologies are, are running on uh, Amazon Web Services. And our uh, newer stacks, our newer technology stacks, right, are you know uh, Python based or Java based with Spring Framework, and they're using um, you know uh, 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 using Kubernetes um, in a lot of cases, EKS. And then in, in, you know, on the back end, we're using, you know, technologies like Dynamo um, or we're doing uh, analytics and we're doing Apache and Spark and we're using Elastic MapReduce um, or we're doing uh, work with um, uh, some of our, 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 you know, newest technologies are, are completely uh, based in Lambdas uh, and Dynamo, uh, you know, with actual, you um, really, you know, adhering to that microservices, um, you know, architecture. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, all the way kind of to the new side of things. So our interview process uh, is really, uh, Cyberk does a great job of trying to make the, you know, uh, the candidates experience uh, the focal point. So uh, a lot of companies, you know, uh, I've worked for or, or seen in the past that I've interviewed for, right? Instead of focusing on, okay, you know, uh, what works easiest for for the group, right? That's that's trying to do the interviews. It's really here. Um, they do an excellent job of, okay, how do we get this, you know, candidate uh, into the mix, right? They get the best experience. It's uh, it's low friction. It, at the end of the day, right, the, the person being interviewed understands why they're being interviewed, what they're being interviewed for. Uh, they, you know, uh, leave kind of that whole candidate experience uh, feeling good, whether or not they're a fit for the company. Um, I, I'd like to say that that's actually one of the, the, the biggest elements um, that CyberArk focuses on. And what does that manifest to? That means, you know, uh, not a lot of you know, needless uh, panels and interviews, right? The 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 process is clean. Uh, it's it's very quick. Um, the the uh, the recruitment you know staff that we have very professional. Uh, they know exactly. They've been doing this for a while. They know exactly uh, who to line you up with, right? And to ensure that uh, you're meeting the right people, you're having the right conversations, and then at the end of all of that the team can then go back and ensure that, okay, right. Like we, we all had a, a, actually an equally good experience. And we understand whether or not this candidate is good, you know, for right for the job and the candidate feels that cyber arts right for them. Yeah. So cyber arc has um, uh, right now uh, cyber arc is going through some immense growth. Um, <clears throat> the, the cybersecurity industry, right, in general has been on a steady, uh, well, I wouldn't even say steady incline. It's been on <clears throat> a, a roller coaster in the upward position for a very long time. And we are, you know, sitting there as a, right in that uh, sweet spot of, you know, the company has made a lot of good choices. 
um, where they've you know been able to uh, really leverage their time in the industry and they've been able to you know take a lot of their expertise and grow the company and grow the offerings and what that's done is it's it's allowed this company to really explode with growth and need for for great engineers uh, and so we're you know right now is a great time to join because in many cases you know we're we're looking for folks to come here not to just run or operate or or keep the lights on right everything we're doing right now is in service of the scale and growth that this company has been going through we have been right exploding in terms of growth and the number of products we're offering so we are looking for folks who can help us in every sense of the way right whether it's database knowledge and experience and data engineering or it's SREs or it's you know uh, CICD or automation Right. We're looking for folks that can take us, you know, to the next level. 